Look what she found for my pond. So my kids found this bridge that was at a playground that was being torn apart and the railings were too high. My hips would not fit through them. Obviously it was made for small children. So they cut this down and they curved some wood to make these two new railings. So I just got two by fours, two 12 foot two by fours, because I'm not liking where the pond, the bridge is sitting. I want it over more, so I had to get longer wood. And supported that on the inside of the original supports with deck screws. And now we're gonna go get some, I think it's one by six planks, cut it up for one by six boards so that will come out here. And you just step onto it. And then over here, since there's no railing, I was thinking about extending it and making it a nice little deck. Well, that's what I was thinking of, but I absolutely love this little bridge. So I got some work to do, and then I want to paint it the same color as I paint the porch. So my right now they look the same. <laughs> so it's perfect. But I'm pretty excited about it. That my whole I've always dreamed of having a bridge. Even if it wasn't over water, I wanted a bridge in my yard if it went over like blue stone to make it look like it. So I'm thrilled. So what we did is we got two 12 foot long pieces of pressure treated wood and ran them along the inside of the existing bridge. And then we got some deck boarding to add to the planks and added some supports in between. So now it's a, instead of a nine foot long bridge, it's a 12 foot long bridge and it spans across the pond. It's a little teetery, so we're gonna put a long piece of wood underneath here, secure it, and then bury it under rocks so that the bridge can't. But oh my goodness, this is a dream come true for me. Absolutely love it. Okay, so we're adding a bottom piece for structural so I keep it from teetering. This is the bridge on upside down so you can see what we did. We wanted to add the new two, two by four on the outside, but it had some other structural things on it for the railing. So we had no choice but to put it on the inside, which did not add to the, you know, the width stability. So we're adding these bottom planks now. Perfect. So here I am lumping rocks again, but it's all good. We put an extension to stabilize the bridge this way, one and a half foot on this side, one and a half foot on that side to make it now 12 foot long. So it goes over, it's not just quite going over here, it's really functional now, it takes me over to the skimmer. So now I'm building steps, so I had to redo all the, the rock work, make sure it was level. So when I'm walking over, there's a shallow end here, which I see a lot of the mosquito fish. And the deep end. With the core, you can see the new hide I made. They seem to like it very much. Here's my skimmer. I didn't do a very good job of covering that up yet, but I'm not done. And then this part, I just started stabilizing this end, so now I gotta lug rock from over there, back around the bridge, over here. <laughs> that's all right though, it's, so let me see what it looks like. So that's a little history and an update on the bridge for the pond. Oh, I like it, thanks. <laughs>